And now we're going to quick strip the Nemesis. We will start off by removing the barrel. We're gonna go into my bag of change. We're gonna pull out a nickel. With our nickel, we're going to unscrew our front grip frame screw. Get that mostly unscrewed. Pull it out. Next, we can unscrew the brass valve body screw right here. With that off, we can take the body off of the grip frame rail and now we can see the latch the linkage latch which connects the bolt to the hammer you just pull that off you can see it's a stainless piece now we will take the three portions of the body apart so there's our nelson style valve body clean this up a little bit I'm gonna just take my pinky, put it in the breech, and just push the valve out. Now we can see we have our uh, bolt and hammer assembly, and we have our breech. We also have a Delrin spacer in the breech. It's probably why it's not functioning is because the Delrin spacer is a little too tight. Uh, now we can see that we have our uh, hammer section with the caulking knob and the uh, hammer inside of there and it has a spring on it and our bolt is held in with a spring. So one tool that I forgot to grab for stripping down the Nemesis was my flathead screwdriver. So what we're going to do now is we're going to insert our flathead screwdriver into the tip of the bolt and we're just going to spin our bolt or our screwdriver and that's what will separate the bolt from the hammer assembly. Getting a closer look at our bolt, we can see it has a venturi pattern on the front. Uh, the, the center hole is threaded so no gas comes out of the center hole and there's a flat edge on one side which is what the the hammer linkage latch attaches to and it pulls on the Delrin spacer and the Delrin spacer isn't actually attached to it it slides freely on there now looking at our hammer valve portion we can see the threaded portion in the front which is spring loaded into there and there's a, a Delrin spacer around it which the bolt glides on and we can see the the caulking rod for the hammer assembly right there the stainless hammer inside with the spring that holds it back. And now I can reassemble my nemesis. So I'm going to take my hammer body portion. I'm going to put my finger in and I'm going to push forward just a little so that the threaded portion at the tip of the power tube is extended and that is spring loaded into the hammer. So that's what brings our um, that's what brings our bolt back instead of having a spring like an automatic does in front of the bolt. And now I can just drop my blow forward bolt onto there and I can give it a little twist and we can see that it's beginning to thread in. We can see our threads going closer to the tip and we can take a flathead screwdriver and we can just give this another slight turn and make sure it's nice and tight and it is. Now I'm going to take my Delrin spacer. I'm going to put that on the front of the bolt. Now I'm gonna make sure that this aluminum sleeve right here is lined up with that hole, which takes a metric screw that I unfortunately didn't get with the gun and I don't have because it's metric. And I'm gonna now put the valve body on and we can make sure that our uh, hammer body hole, our spacer and our breech are all lined up at that hole and they are. And now I'm going to take my uh, sled and my latch sled, I'm gonna just pop that in front of the spacer. I'm gonna just slide this onto my Nelson style valve body. There we go. And then I'll just place that on top of my Nemesis. Now we're good there. Just gonna put my front grip frame screw in and then move on to my back valve body screw. And we're good. And let's not forget our barrel. Screw our barrel on, and now we can go hit the field with our nemesis. That doesn't work, but hopefully soon will once I fix it.